Welcome to this week's Ask Brian. I've been recently getting a lot of emails about water, specifically about the Hearst decision, a recent Supreme Court decision in Washington State involving rural exempt wells. And uh, the, uh, the court decision is problematic uh, and I'm very concerned. Uh, we have several bills have been introduced. We have uh, two House bills, the Springer bill and the Stanford bill. And additionally, a Senate bill has come over by Senator Warnick. And that bill will be heard in my committee in uh, about a week. And I'm hopeful that that can be the vehicle to resolve this. Specifically, the problem is the court ruled that, that uh, even a single molecule of impairment of senior water rights and senior water rights um, uh, are most often characterized as in-stream flows rules that have been adopted by ecology that uh, set a minimum flow level in our streams and rivers not all streams in the state have them but several have been adopted in the state uh, in our district uh, the Chehalis River is one that has an in-stream flow rule and so the ruling, uh, it appears, would say that if uh, uh, a county would have to determine if water is legally available for a property owner to uh, have access to a new well on their property. And that could be uh, costly for counties to do. They uh, don't always have the expertise to, to determine if water is legally available. And so I think we need to find a way um, to determine if water is legally available more on a basin-wide um, uh, system and, and take that burden off of our counties and off of our landowners and develop a system that works better and is able to resolve these uh, uh, problems. So when you as a landowner go to the county, apply for a building permit, um, we can get back to more of a normal process and allow folks to move forward, be able to develop their property, uh, build their dream home, and, uh, and it's a difficult issue. Many stakeholders, uh, fish advocates, um, uh, advocates for the environment, uh, our builders are involved and at the table, and our counties are at the table, and I'm hopeful that we can come to a resolution of this issue. So thank you for tuning in to this week's Ask Brian.